Hey everyone, welcome to the Drag Racer's Wife. This is Kelly Phillips, wife of Turbo John. And a few weeks ago, you saw the video about what happened after MPK Virginia when we pretty much blew up our RV engine. So it was, um, it could be fixed, but not by us, I guess is what you would say. Um, just a little too much, too much to it for us. So we sold it to somebody who was better able to deal with it. And we searched high and low for a really good deal on another RV. So new RV, definitely out of our financial reach. But after searching, 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 we found this lovely beauty behind me. Um, it is a used RV. It's gonna need a little bit of work, but I thought since you guys got to see the RV origin story from the last one and the story of what happened when we blew it up, you might want to see the replacement. So let's go take a quick tour. All right, here we go. On our way to pick up our new to us old RV. <laughs> new to us, but not new. Well, we barely can afford this one. No, but... I think it's a good deal. I'm still nervous as all get out. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Yeah, well, you know, there's risk with any new thing we buy. We a new one. That's a new one that they just didn't oh. even tell that one's probably three times as much as what we're thinking. I'm sure it is. All right, let's go in. So what you doing? VIP. Stressing. Do you feel like a VIP? Stressing. You know why I'm stressing? Why are you stressing? Because... VIP. VIP. Because we found a motorhome. It's got a lot of miles on it. It's a do-it-yourself. And yeah, I'm all about the do-it-yourself, but you get a better price. But this one's got more miles on it than the old one that we just blowed the motor up in. But this one should be better. I think we it's messed up. It's got a up. bigger motor, right? It's got a bigger motor. It's got more horsepower, 400 horsepower. It's an ISL. There was a recall on blowing up motors up. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's funny is I'm scared we we're gonna blow up the motor, but and there was a recall about the motors blowing up. But it was a pin locking up. The wrist pin was locking, and it was grabbing the piston, seizing up, throwing it outside the block. But that's, that failure was happening within like 10 to 15,000 miles. Oh, we're way past that. Way past that. So 157,000 miles. So it should miles. be good. I think we're good on that. We ain't going to have that failure. As long as we remember to change the oil. As long as we remember to keep the oil checked and changed, I think we'll be okay, hopefully. And this, this RV is nice, too. It it's, is it's nice. It's nicer than we ever thought we would get. It really is. It's also more expensive than any vehicle I've ever bought. And, you know, we just, we took out the loan to go get it. And it's a lot of money. I yeah, mean, we don't normally do that. No. We don't get loans for vehicles. We buy wrecked vehicles, but That's we don't right. we don't have time to deal with a wrecked vehicle. That's right. This one's got a few little things we're gonna have to fix up on the do it yourself, but mechanically it should be good. We test drove it. We've been trying. We've been looking for motor homes since we blowed this other one up, and I mean this is a good deal. It was close. It was local, but it's still a lot of money. <laughs> and I mean, ten years to pay back the loan. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it though, because there's so there's no way I can go to the track and sleep in the trailer with my back issues. No, and and, and after last week with you know us, the it, I had a blast. Me and Randy, uh, all my other friends, they were like, "You got a motor home yet?" <laughs> Nobody else showed up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that, that's kind of funny, ain't it? So, um, but yeah, everybody else was working. I mean, they couldn't come. I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give them crap though when they come to the track. They didn't come because they didn't have a place to sleep. <laughs> they didn't come because we she had to sleep in the trailer. Sleep. When I was sleeping in the trailer and the coyotes were outside my door, I was going, oh, no, not again, not again. <laughs> I'm so glad it didn't go. Yeah, I it, almost it was, was going to go. But hopefully this will allow us to, to do the racing where you and Chase can come and where we can stay at the track. I mean, it's hard. There's a ton of racers that stay in the motorhomes um, at the track. There's a ton of people that stay in the trailers at the track with no motorhome and they use the facilities at the track, but they're more prepared for it. And then with all the stuff we try to bring to the track, we want to stay at the track. I need you and Chase to be at the track to help film, to help sell um, t-shirts, because that's going to help pay yeah. for the motorhome. And without that happening, you know, I can't sell t-shirts. I mean, I, I took t-shirts with me when it was just me and Randy, and I sold like two t-shirts. I didn't even have time to take them, take them oh, out. Yeah. They were just it's off a, to the it's side. It's a lot of work. It is. Doing the, so the, the motorhome helps our, our channel. It helps um, people, it, it, helps it helps when you you're pay there because the you can manage me. And yeah, I mean, when we get hot and sweaty, we can go cool off. There's there's ways you can do it in the trailer, but for us, what we do and the amount of people that we use to drive right through the track, we, we need more room. Well, and we race almost every weekend. That's right. And I mean, it's fine to go without a motorhome if we're within a day's drive and we're, we're not spending the night, but right. 
like you said, with my back issues, I cannot sleep on the, you know, I no. have to have a real bed. Yeah. So. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those things. It's going to work out, but I'm still, I am just, I am nervous, nervous, nervous. It's, it's just gonna be all right, baby. Me. I know. And It'll it just, be all right. I mean, we've been fighting it for, I mean. <laughs> yeah. We got it. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Well, not delivered. We're driving it home, but. We're, we're doing the driving. There it is. It's, it needs it's a little a bit of work. I mean, hopefully all the hopefully all the major stuff is. Yeah. Going to last us a while. Uh, you know, it's one of these. It says it right there on the door. Do it yourself. DIY. That is how we roll, baby. Yeah. So. Yep. We'll see. I mean, it's big. It's it's a freaking monster. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm still nervous. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it lasts and does good for us, and we don't have any issues. There he goes. Well, you. Yeah. Look at that smile. This is her. John's been working on her all day. She's a 2006 Mandalay. Um, we got a few things that we're gonna need to fix up. It was a DIY. So anything that's wrong, we have to deal with ourselves. So like the automatic awning won't go out. Uh, there's a problem with the inverter. There's a few different things that um, we're gonna have to fix, but um, overall, I think that's it, it's pretty good for being as old as it is. So let's go ahead in. So here is the cabin area, which is, this is nice because our old one had the door in the middle of the RV, and I think this is nice. It's gonna make it a little more convenient to do things like when you're paying for a campsite or you know things like that. Um, we got TV, of course there now we got one of the slides are out there's four slides in this sucker um, one of them is out right now the other one where we have it parked on the street in front of our house there's not enough room for both slides um, without blocking the entire road so we've just got one side out right now um, we've got a desk that's all the manuals and stuff John's working on we have a desk area we have our little dining area and that slides out for more um, table space um, I've got the leather couch covered already because you guys know if you take anything to the track, it's going to get filthy. People come in, the crew members come in and cool off and hang out and they're greasy and they've been laying on the concrete. And so this cover is um, going to take care of it. Keep the white leather nice and clean. We have our kitchen here and you can see I've got some contact paper out. Um, it's pretty nice. It's got a gas stove, convection oven. It's even got a built-in vacuum cleaner. I feel so lucky that we were able to find uh, one of the higher-end RVs, even though it's old. You know, it, it's really nice. It's got a lot of the features. And the people who had this RV, you know, we don't know who it is because we got it from a dealer. They really took good care. I mean, you can tell these cabinets, like there's barely a mark on them. They really did a great job. Well, except for the one that's falling apart over there. Um, <laughs> they really did a great job though of taking care of this thing. Uh, fairly new. A residential refrigerator in here there'll be more room here once the slide is out to get back and forth okay then we've got uh, the vanity we've got the shower over here and one of the things I really like is that this has a toilet room because in our old RV there was not a separate toilet room there was just you know it was all one um, and then the bedroom this has two slides which I think only one slide is out right now um, but there'll be some more space in here that is a tri-fold mattress it is a full four inch memory foam mattress i got off of amazon for john to use in the trailer last weekend because we didn't know how long it was going to take for us to get the rv that's going to go back here in the closet uh, so any crew members who need to stay because there's this bed there's the couch that turns into a bed and then usually we have at least two to three other people so we've got this mattress and air mattress and some other things to accommodate uh, crew members that stay with us on the track um and here we've got a closet we've got a television this little area like i said this slides out and you've got a little desk area in here there's also um and i can't get to it right now because the slides in but back in that one cabinet there um on the other side of the tv there is a washer dryer combo and i've been warned not to use that unless we're hooked up to sewer because it could overflow the rv if the gray tank is not full enough so definitely a step up for the turbo john family um 
I don't know. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure. I didn't think we'd be able to get such a nice RV on the kind of budget we have, but luckily, um, with gas prices the way they are, I think we were we were told by the dealer a lot of people are actually canceling their RV orders because gas is so high. And so traveling by RV is much harder to do, but of course, you know, as racers, we can't not travel or we can't race. So it's not as much of an issue for us. And I think this is probably about as expensive as the truck to pull, except for then we don't need a hotel or we don't need to sleep in the trailer. So, I, you know, I, I wouldn't say RV is a necessary or a necessity in life, but when you're racing as much as we are, it's pretty important. So I'm thrilled, John's thrilled, that we were able to get something in our budget um, as quickly as we did. And we'll be seeing you in Tennessee July 9th for Turbo John's Backward Brawl. And I was very worried that we were going to be spending hundreds of dollars on a hotel room for that race. And now we have our RV so we can stay right at the Knoxville track. So pretty excited. Um, hope to see you there. And uh, that's it. So make sure you like and subscribe. Head over to Turbo John Racing as well. And I'll see you guys at the next race. Bye.